Well, here I am at Bucky's once again on my way home. I've been here, oh gosh, I don't know what time I got here. It's about 8 o'clock at night, 8.30 at night, something like that. And I'm going to start heading down to uh, the northern part of Georgia, 200 and some miles away. And I'll be stopping there. So I'm going to make me a, a cup of coffee here. Well, I'm getting ready to go. Make me a cup of coffee and get started. I've been here long enough. I've been here at this Bucky's. It's just been so damn hot and without this air conditioning up here, which there's nothing wrong with the air conditioner. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I probably have. The generator fuel pump went out. I'm almost 90% positive that's what happened. So without the generator, I can't run this air conditioner. And I checked all this before I left and everything was working fine, but you know how it is. Everything just happens. The refrigerator, the uh, gas uh, on the LP part of it quit working. The uh, service light was flashing. I couldn't figure out why it was doing what it was doing. So I went out there and I tinkered with it just a little bit. It kept trying to light, but it just wouldn't stay lit. And then I tinkered with it some more. And now it stays on. It's been staying on now for uh, 24 hours now. It's, it's, it's stayed lit, driving and everything. So at least temporarily, everything's working. And as far as me making coffee without the generator, that big, um, lithium battery I had, the portable one, not the little one, but the big one. I can't think of the name of it right now. I'm tired. Yeah, I, it's down here. And I just got a small extension cord that comes up to the countertop here and I plug the coffee pot in it and make coffee. Driving in the daytime when it's so hot and that roof air don't work, but I do have dash air to help out really a lot. That's what this is for, if you don't know. I hook this behind this chair. My privacy curtain that goes across here and by having this here, I can hook it up here, the curtain goes behind it, and the air doesn't blow it or suck it back forward and get in our way. And just having that privacy curtain across here on a 100 degree day, it just made a huge difference up here. I mean, really, really big difference. So if you're having trouble, you know, and you can't run your roof air like me because of whatever problem, do that. Put that across there. Run your roof air. Hey, if you're by yourself especially, push come to shove, you can just sprawl across these two seats like a truck driver. I used to do it in a truck uh, when I was a truck driver while he was unloading me. Just sprawl across these two seats and take a nap. I do have a fantastic fan, and I have all the side windows open. And even though here in Richmond, Kentucky, it wasn't near as hot as elsewhere, the high today was 85. I turned this fantastic fan on, opened all the windows, and uh, a cool breeze came in through the whole thing. Wasn't bad at all. So, let me go outside here, kind of show you where I'm parked temporarily. I'm not parked legally, really, I guess, but nobody's going to say anything. Yeah, I'm at Bucky's, Richmond, Kentucky. I don't know if there's something going on this weekend, but this Bucky's has been so busy all day. And even though the sun's went down and you would think that maybe uh, they kind of quietened down a little bit, even though it kind of has, but it's just a study flow of people. People are just fascinated with Bucky's. Let's hit the road and see what we can do. Well, here we are at Bucky's, yeah, I think Calhoun, Georgia. Uh, we're making some time probably right at three o'clock in the morning I want to get to the south side of Atlanta and then once I get past the south side of Atlanta I'm going to look for some place to park this thing and I don't know where I'm going to park it because generally when you get south of Atlanta there ain't very many places to go and you can forget truck stops and rest areas at this time of night they're completely full of trucks and you can't even get in there so Maybe I can find a Cracker Barrel. I don't know that either because I'll tell you what, it must be really, really popular this year to head to Florida because <laughs> even at 3 o'clock in the morning, the traffic coming from uh, Richmond, Kentucky, which is just south of Lexington to all the way down here, the traffic has been pretty consistent. So I'm assuming they're all heading to Florida. Well, that being said, all right, let's get out of here and let's... Uh, Let's cut a chogi and let's head down toward the uh, next uh, Bucky's will be just south of Macon. I don't care if I make it that far. I'm not trying to make it that far, but I do want to get south of Atlanta. Let's go. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I made it down to the southern or past Macon. 
is the last Bucky's. That's where I'm sitting at right now, the last Bucky's. We got here about, I think it was around, give or take, five o'clock in the morning. I'm not even sure what time it is. I'm making coffee over here. I don't have my slide out, but I don't need to. There it goes. Doesn't like hearing that first morning coffee go off. Doesn't like that smell of that first morning coffee. You know, you're not supposed to overnight at Bucky's. I mean, that's their rule. But it's another one of them rules they don't never enforce, or at least I've never seen it enforce. I think what they're, what they're getting at, but they don't want you coming in here and opening up your slides and pulling out your awning. And some people actually do that. Like there are people, I've seen them in rest areas do that. Pull out their slides, stick out their awning, put out. I saw a guy in an RV one time in a rest area that put his grill outside and was grilling steaks or something. That's, uh, that's abusing the system and that's how things get stopped. I, mean, I don't do this full time. I know that's what most people like to watch. There's full time stuff going on. I don't do this full time. I do this. I guess you call it my weekend. But I've been doing this long enough to where I know what I'm not supposed to do. You know, you you watch some of these channels, and what they do is they tell you what to, what to do, how to do, when to do, all this stuff. But never ever tells you. What, well, I shouldn't say never tell you, but. Most of them don't tell you what not to do. And, you know, it's hard to get through people sometimes that you're just being rude. And this is how campgrounds get closed down. This is how all the free parking, especially out west. You go out west and there is a lot of free parking for um, RVs. I know of a couple of them in Texas. I'm not going to say where they're at because it seems like every time you say where something's at, uh, people go there and they leave their trash lay around. They, they, they're they rude. They're loud at night. They think it's a party center. But other people are trying to sleep and they're outside at 2 o'clock in the morning drunk and carrying on. Then next time I go back out there to go to that same spot that I was at before, it was really nice. There's a sign there saying, no overnight parking. So just you know use your common sense because even though you think it's okay and even though you might think nobody cares and nobody's going to do anything they will they'll shut they'll shut it down they'll block it off they'll put a gate up you won't get in there anymore so you know have respect for other people that seems to be the thing i'm noticing around the nation not just for our viewers either i'm just noticing more and more of just no respect anymore guys when i grew up always held the door open for a lady and then it got to the point where everybody just kind of, if you're behind them, they just kind of hold the door for the next person coming in, makes one difference to the next person. And that's fine. I don't know when that started though. And now it's to the point where you do, they just open the door, go in, and they don't pay no attention who's behind them. If it's a lady, an elderly lady, somebody who's handicapped, they just go in and let go of the door. They just don't even care. I don't, I don't know, man. Moms and dads out there, you're, uh, the new generation, teach your kids well. That's all I can say, is teach your kids well. Because from what I'm seeing, a lot of them, they're not being taught well. Gooder is. Uh, his mom, she's pretty strict, uh, but in the long run, it'll pay. He's kind of quiet, as you've seen. He uh, doesn't talk much, but I will tell you, I can tell by watching him and listening to him talk that um, he's got respect for the older people, I guess. I'm old. I asked him, I said, how old is old? He said, he, I, he says, well, he says, older than me. I said, yeah, but how old do you have to be before you consider to be old? Oh, he said, I don't know. And he's looking around for an answer to what he's done. I put him on a spot all the time because I, I like to mess with him. Finally, he told me, he said, oh, he said, I don't know. He said, older than you. <laughs> That's a good answer. Oh, gosh, I'm going to miss the guy. Well, I'm going to drink my coffee, I'm going to fire this thing up up front, get the air conditioner going, cool it down up there. I had my uh, fantastic fan on all night long, had the windows open and everything all night long. It helps. It helps me if you get here when the, when the air is kind of cool, because it keeps that coolness in here for a long time. I don't need more time to do this right now. I just got up. 12.40, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been here since about 5 in the morning. It's about it's 12.40 now. Uh, the camper is warm. Um, it's, it's starting to heat up, I can feel it. So I kind of expected it down here. So this will be my last run. From, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up here at Bucky's and then uh, when we take off, I, I might make some stops along the way, uh, make a sandwich out and try to 
you know, clean out most of what's in that refrigerator, milk, cereal, I'll eat it all, well, I'll try it. And then uh, I'll get back to my storage lot, either late tonight, because I'm not gonna book it, I'm just gonna eat mosey, or early, early, early in the morning, like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. I really like getting back about that time, because I can stop the gas station down the road from a storage lot, and top my tanks off, and I can get in there really easy, and I can get out really easy. So, let's get on the road, and let's see what's going on after. Let's go plan some traffic. Morning, everybody. I just stopped here at another rest area. Take a break. I'm in Georgia now. Let me turn around so you can see what the rest area looks like. So you come in these places during the daylight hours and you pretty much have a pick of anywhere you want to park. I parked right here in the middle. There's truck parking back over here in the back. There's truck parking over here. They don't have designated RV parking, but uh, I just try to stay away from all the truck. Uh, that way uh, I don't have to listen. Cause they leave their motors run all the time, mostly. But anyway, we're here doing our thing. The weather seems okay. The fan made a big difference. The breeze coming through that bedroom uh, kept kept blowing over over me and everything. It just kept it cool. It didn't keep the room cool, but it kept it comfortable enough where I fell asleep. Remember when we were all kids and we could pretty much just fall asleep anywhere, any position. I'd fall asleep in a chair. I could lay on the floor, fall asleep. On the farm, I can remember falling asleep outside under a tree. <laughs> now you get to an age where you have air conditioning, you have a comfortable mattress, Got a roof over your head, and you're tossing your turn because the knee hurts, <laughs> the hip hurts, back hurts, or there's a whole lot of stuff going on up here where you just can't seem to re relax to go to sleep. What the heck's going on? As you get older, you got less to worry about, right? I run out of ham. Sue has some ham in here. I don't know where she got it or whatever, but it's pretty good. I eat all that. So now I'm working on bologna. I like eating simple things in a camper. I always have. There's no cooking involved. I don't like getting into cooking unless I have a microwave. But we do have what I'll call freeze-dried food. Chinese noodles, Chinese chow mein, I don't know, stuff like that. You add a little bit of water, put it in the microwave for a minute, take it out, and it's, it's good to go. And it's pretty good. I'll eat those, and I've got some of them in here. But with the generator uh, not putting out uh, like it should, I can't run the microwave. I could if I had an extension cord to plug the microwave into my Blue Yeti back here. And it's a big Blue Yeti. And it will run that uh, microwave because I, ch I tested it before I left. So I plugged it in. I want to get something to eat or whatever. There are plenty of places I can stop in this motor home to get it. Because I'm not towing a car, so I can pretty much get in and out of a lot of places that with a car, I'd be leery about. But anyway... I think I'll be home tonight. I gotta dump my black tank. It's a two-thirds full, probably a little bit over two-thirds full. I need to dump my gray tank. There's not a lot in it, but I'm gonna dump it while we're doing doing the black all at the same time. And I wanna fill my water tank. I don't wanna fill it up, but I like to get my water tank up to about half. That way while it's sitting in the storage lot, if I decide to go over and do any kind of work, then I have water in case I need it for whatever reason. And I'm debating on I don't want to get Sue out of bed at midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, come pick me up, even though that's the easiest time to pick me up. But I thought about just plugging it in, because when I plug it in, the air conditioner will work then. And just spending a night in the camper and calling her sometime tomorrow. So, hey, come and get me. If you want me. <laughs> All right, let's go out there. I'm going to eat my sandwich and drink the world's greatest sweet tea right there. And uh, go out and play in some traffic. What do you think? Let's go. Well, I'm get, getting gas. That last Bucky's I was at, this was Friday. My God, what a cluster that place was. So I bypassed Bucky's. I came all the way down here within, I'd say, 20 miles of the Florida border. There's a raceway here. I forget what exit this is, like exit 10. That's what it is, exit 10. On the southbound side of 75, there's a raceway here. Gas is 319. There's also on the other side of the street over there is a quick trip, a QT. I like both of them. There's usually plenty of room, as you can see. 
Sharon is not a cluster either. I mean, you can see, it's, I don't have to fight to get in here and get gas. It's 319 here, but I do believe the Bucky's up there was 305. So a little bit more expensive, but man, the convenience is what I'm looking at. Let's get some gas. Coffee time, coffee time. Oh, by the way, these are wireless headsets right here. On my cell phone, I've got old time radio on it, and this connects to my cell phone, and I can listen to all kinds of old time radio. Right now, I'm listening to gun smoke. And you can hear the generator running. It runs for a while, and then it just quits. So let me shut it off, because I don't need it anymore. Might as well save it. It doesn't run long enough to run the air conditioner for hours. It'll run 20 minutes, and then it'll just quit. It'll conk out, so that's the issue. But I can, if I don't run it a lot, I can start it up at once in a while, and it'll run 20 minutes. I'll get her fixed. Coffee. I like drinking my own coffee. I just got gas. It was, uh, and now it's a spoon at. There it is. I like using plastic spoons because I don't like washing dishes and these things. You just throw them away. So, anyway. Let me get all this stuff together. I got my tea up there. I went inside and I looked to see if they had any, um, you know, icy buns. Those things I like to eat. Some of these places, it's really kind of strange. The stuff you get in almost every other place is always there. And then I'm at Raceway as a 10 mile marker. They don't have any here. I don't get it. All right, let's uh, go out and play it down. Storage on the right. There's a gas station here on the right. I'm looking down there at that end pump to see if I can get down there and it don't look like I can. God damn it. Come in here and they do the stupid stuff. Looks like somebody's just sitting down there. Right there, look at that. He's just sitting there. I don't know what this guy's doing. right on US 301. says it should be ready so I got black tanks empty the gray tanks both gray tanks are empty flushed out the black tank I always do that and uh, maybe that's why I never had a problem I flush it out all the time oh, I forgot to shut the bedroom door uh, full tank of gas now I'm going back I know I got my seatbelt on I'm going back here to check my spot to see if it's ready because he said it should be ready I just don't trust that should well, I got a little test thing back here I'll test the electricity before I pull in there I don't want to waste my time All right, 
looks like the electricity is working. You guys saw my lights. I was going to move the dolly and pull in, and I got thinking, eh, I'll just go over right back in. Precious two thirds. Well, I didn't really hear the compressor kick on, but this this newer air conditioner is kind of quiet on that thing. I think it's cold. Oh, yeah, it's getting colder. Yeah, it's on. Okay, it's on. Now they're Green light means the electricity's on, so the refrigerator is on. Whenever you have it on gas, it'll be yellow and green. So there you go. There's my trip back to the yard. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, let the air conditioner cool things off a little bit. I think I'm going to make me a bologna sandwich. I've got some yingling beer down there, I see. I might put them in a freezer, see if I get to one of them kind of cold. If I can, I think I'll have a beer and a sandwich and lay down and uh, watch a little TV if I can get anything here. I don't know that I can. I haven't ever tried it in this spot. Then take a nap and then call Sue sometime in the morning. See if she wants to come over and get me. She may not want to come over and get me. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I guess uh, I'll work on cutting some of these videos and putting them on the RV channel. And other than that, I guess maybe I'll see you on Port Set. All right, I'm going to bed. See you all later. See you on the other side. Well, I'm back. I spent the night over here. I pulled that slide part way out. It's not out all the way. It just gives me a little more leg room, that's all. And the same thing with the bed. I just, a little bit. Wasn't sure at nighttime how far I could go out with it, but hell, I could go out all the way on that one, I know. This one over here. I probably could go out all the way on that, but I'm not going to. That's plenty for me. What can I tell you? Back in the sunshine state, air conditioner's working perfect, plugged in, so all I gotta do is get that generator taken care of, and I think we're good to go. It run good, I don't wanna jinx myself. Run good, everything seemed fine. I put the antenna up. I watched uh, some television last night. I wasn't sure if I could get anything. These metal buildings, you park underneath them, there, they get in interference all the time with your cell phone and stuff. But I did pick up uh, five channels, I think. I sent Sue a text message saying, come and get me. I haven't heard from her yet. This is Saturday. She's probably out in Brownwood for the uh, markets. Oh, I see it's water. I saw it dripping down there and I didn't see no water on the side. And I thought, uh oh, we got a leak down here. But no, 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 here it is. See that water right there? That's the air conditioner. That's the one thing I don't like about the design of this you know there's always something in, in every one of them but there's no gutter system on it it just runs on the roof and runs down to wherever the downhill is and just drains down your rv you might think that's not a big deal but it well it really is i shouldn't say anything but over a period of time if you don't buff this thing out you end up with these little black lines that come down the side from that water and we go in and get here. I've been packing up and taking all the bed sheets home. Look at the work done at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I've been working on the computer a little bit. You never know what to edit. There's some of the video right there I did coming up, up here and I'm just looking at it. Oh well, I'll figure it out.